Mordecai 12 valve. Well guys, I did take the old Mordecai for a drive last night, and I gotta say guys, the truck ran and performed really, really nicely. It shifted smooth, ran smooth. I could put 40 pounds of boost at it. No sounds, no ticking, no grinding, nothing. I mean, just everything ran perfect. In fact, this truck felt like it was just much more alive at that low end when you first start to pin it. And this thing actually now like launches you a lot faster than just once you've already built up some boost and you're going down the road. And I don't know if all of that is credit to that new turbo, but I gotta say I'm pretty sure a lot of that is. Because if you have a crappy turbo, your low end power is gonna suck, your get up and go is gonna suck, your spool for a launch is gonna suck, you know what I'm saying? So that small turbo, Really, I don't know if it was ever fully functional since we bought the truck. It could have been slowly on its way out. The bearings could have been on their way out on, inside the turbo. But uh, all that aside, it's all in. New turbo runs amazing. Me and Reagan went for a ride in this thing last night, and I'm like, it runs so much better. Like, just awesome. This truck just, I mean, it screams now. You can really hear both those turbos just light up when you give it some fuel. Holy smokes. What is up guys? So yesterday I ended off in front of the Mordecai 12 valve and I was telling you how it's running way better and I mean like way better and before anybody makes those comments like oh my gosh I can't believe the turbo went out like why you know why the turbo go out on that truck like oh my gosh what'd you do to it? Okay first off like I said it was a stock turbo with 230,000 miles on it and then 600 horsepower worth of stuff was added to the truck. It was kind of a given that turbo was probably gonna go out. Instead of being like, oh my gosh, what'd you do? Be like, thank goodness he had to pay a grand to get that fixed, and now it runs perfect, so I don't have to worry about it. So now I have two brand new turbos under the hood, not one new turbo and one old wore out turbo. So now that truck runs fantastic, and it's probably never gonna have any more issues, at least not any time in the near future. For this video, what we're gonna try to do is go get these wheels and tires for the first gen, yes, first gen wheels and tires, get them over to the shop so that they can mount and balance them and then we're going to do a little bit more content here with the Mordecai 12 valve build because that truck you guys need to see going down the road to actually get kind of like that in cab sound in the performance of the truck right now it's hard to do any justice on camera but this thing builds boosts and moves and hustles way faster than I did before. Uh, it's freaking awesome. So we're gonna go back there right now. In terms of this truck, I get asked all of the time, what is the dent from? Why does your dad truck have the freaking dent in the bumper? That dent has been there for, I think, well over a year now. And the way that dent got there, believe it or not, he was jump starting his 7.3, go figure, before I had the new batteries put in a long time ago now and he looked behind him, put his right arm over the passenger seat and turned his head back to back out. And when he turned his wheel, the front end swung over to the side and hit a sapling like a small tree in our yard doing that dent. So he is, you can imagine, got it nailed pretty good and uh, left that dent. But he's trying to wait until he puts an aftermarket front bumper on here, which he said he wants to do pretty soon. Um, instead of just you know replacing it with that and then uh, having to buy another one anyway. So that's why it's still there and it's gonna get changed out, just not top priority right now. In terms of this truck, there's a lot happening to this thing. It's gonna look really different. And when I say a lot, don't take that like super drastic. I'm not literally talking about like, oh, giant suspension, wheels and tires. No, that's not what I'm talking about. But this truck's gonna have a totally different appearance very soon, stay tuned for the videos coming up. So we are in the Mordecai 12 valve. I've got my wheels and tires for the first gen in the back there. The tires are actually tires that I bought about a year ago now, actually, exactly, because I bought a set for Big Stinky, and then I got a second set for Big Stinky because the first ones weren't showing up. So I had this set, and I told my dad I'd give them to him, so I am. The wheels we got back there, my dad actually ordered those through Anthem. Anthem hooked him up because, uh, like I said, Anthem's just awesome. We love Anthem. Anthem always works with us, and we always love working with them, and they're just very personable and one-on-one. -on -one and they just get everything done that you need done and they'll work with you and it's just it's really cool okay, so we're gonna get these dropped off here real quick and then we're gonna go down the road in this truck and really show you how much better it drives well we got the wheels and tires dropped off so we're gonna show you guys I'm telling you this truck I wish I would have got it on video I might have a clip on my phone but it was making like a weird grinding and ticking noise I mean it was bad um, it really was it was not good at all and then um, essentially what happened was, after I changed that turbo, more power, faster spool time, more get up and go, obviously, which goes along with more power, and then obviously the 
truck just sounds better. Like it just, it just like the whistle tone, like the turbo note, just sounds a lot better. But look how quick it's. Oh yeah, and it didn't build. It didn't even build 10 pounds of boost once that turbo went. But we got a nice little straight shot coming up here. Farmers have been out just hammering the fields lately because they finally got some dry weather for about a week. Okay, so here we go. The bottom one there is obviously my boost, so we're gonna. 45 pounds of boost that quick. We're going 60 miles an hour that fast. So, I mean, like I said, guys, this thing just, it just, it just eats now. I mean, it just goes. I mean, this thing, I'm not gonna do it right now, but it'll hit 50 like that. And that's when the wastegate opens up so that it doesn't go any higher. But, um, I mean, this thing, guys, it's awesome. It really is awesome. It runs a lot better. I notice is it actually smokes less yeah smokes a lot less so I'm gonna take that as a good thing I don't know what you guys want to say about that but in my opinion if it smokes a lot less and it spools a lot faster and it moves a lot quicker it's probably a good thing so um, we're gonna go around the corner here right now and it, it hardly smokes at all now I mean it smokes a little like when you're going from a stop and you pin it but like going down the road you used to be able to like hit that throttle and if you just like tapped it it was just black smoke everywhere so I don't know if that new turbo is really like that much better to where like I mean it's even helping the truck run way more efficient but um, I guess all in a wrap this thing runs like a freaking animal now. So like I said, guys, this thing just runs like a freaking animal now. Which, by the way, if you haven't done so yet, you guys are running out of time to enter to win this truck. You guys have 20 days. Wait, is it 20? I think it's 20 days left until this giveaway is over. Maybe like 18. I'm not sure. It's like 20 or 18. And then the giveaway for this truck is over. Like, you cannot enter to win it anymore. And I got to tell you. We've given away some really clean trucks, some really nice trucks, but we have never given away a truck quite like this one right here. And I'm telling you guys, the thing is just pristine. I mean, like the paint job, nothing was cheaped out on. The parts that were put on it, nothing was cheaped out, well, except for the turbo. He didn't He didn't take the turbo out and go through it. He probably just figured, oh, HX35 will last a long time. They're a good stock turbo and didn't think anything of it. That was the one thing that was missed, but we got that taken care of now. I mean, like the roll pan, flawlessly molded to the truck. The wheels and tires, American Force wheels, forged wheels, okay? Spiked lugs, spiked valve stems. Look at the frame on this thing. I mean, you can eat off this frame. I mean, they don't get any cleaner than that. You know what I'm saying? They just don't. I'm sorry, but they don't. You can try to argue me, but they just do not get any cleaner. I mean, this thing is just so, so, so mint. Interior, flawless. I'm telling you guys, if you want a beautiful, beautiful truck for literally like the cost of like a hat or a t-shirt or something like that, enter to win today. Information in the description below. This exact truck could be sitting in your driveway. How happy would that make you to see this truck sitting in your driveway three weeks from now? Do whatever, sell it, keep it, run it forever, keep it as a collectible, whatever you want to do. Like, it's your truck. Just think about that. Imagine how that'd make you feel and then decide if you want to go down and enter or not. Anyways, let's get into the next part of the video. One more thing I wanted to mention in this video since we're on the topic of the Mordecai 12 valve is I did buy a sport grill for the truck. Now, before you guys get too excited, I don't know 100% how this is going to go and so how I'm going to attempt to color match this stuff, yes, color match, is by using one of the broken mirrors from the white 24 valve. So what I meant by that is we've got this broken mirror from the white 24 valve that I'd taken off that truck and what I'm gonna attempt to do is clean this up, pressure wash it, sand it, and paint it with the paint code from the truck and basically see how it turns out. Because if it turns out really crappy, really weird, and it just doesn't look good when I hold it next to the truck, I'm not gonna be freaking painting all this stuff. 
I'm just gonna wait and get it professionally done. The only reason why I even consider doing this with cans is because it's just like plastic parts that can come off the truck easy enough. It's not like it's actually part of the truck. And so I was gonna test it on a broken thing before I touch any of this. And um, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. And obviously, worst case scenario, guys, the grill that's on the truck, which is professionally color matched, is still gonna be with the truck. You know, it's not like it's getting thrown away or we're getting rid of it. It's staying with the truck no matter, you know, whether you want this to stay on the truck or the other one you're gonna get to keep that perfectly good grill. I'll just have it sit on the back seat for when you pick up the truck to take it home. So, all that being said, nobody has to worry about anything. If this doesn't turn out good on the broken mirror, we're not gonna be messing with all that stuff. Uh, but worst case scenario, even if we do attempt to mess with it to try to make it work, you're still gonna have the original parts that we can put back on the truck for you or you can just take home with you. Um, but this is something I wanna try out because if it does work, this might look really, really good. This is why you experiment before actually attempting to do a project or take a part off of the truck that's in totally good shape and then attempt to do something better and then it doesn't turn out quite as good because you can, as you can see this mirror, it turned out good, but it's not the same paint color at all. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the one on the truck is definitely darker than this. Um, just, just not quite what I wanna do, um, quite honestly. If I'm gonna do something like that, I want it to turn out and look like really good, not just eh. So what we're gonna do probably is we might still put the fourth gen mirrors on, but we might just, I'm not sure. I don't know if we're gonna put them on or what we should do, but I think I kinda wanna just put them on the truck and just leave them how they are and just swap them out with the other ones. Cause the second gen mirrors, well, technically they're supposed to be third gen mirrors. Those mirrors just aren't quite the best. I mean, they're fine. They look good, but they kind of have a little bit of a shake in the glass. I don't know why every set of second gen slash third gen mirrors that I've ever put on one of those trucks, the, the glass just always shakes. I don't know why, but they just they just do. In the fourth gen mirrors, I've never had any of those that have actually like shook or made any kind of weird vibrations in the glass when going down the road. Um, so I still would like to swap those out regardless. And in terms of the grill. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with that. I might actually take the grill and possibly the mirrors to a local shop and just see what they might quote me to actually get that color matched factory and then uh, see if they can pull up the paint code for that truck. We'll try to figure out what it is and then actually just make that exact paint code to match this stuff and then I'll just go pick it up and install it myself. Well, that's all we're gonna be doing for today's video, guys, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Do not forget to enter to win this beautiful, beautiful truck. I promise you, nothing's gonna happen to it. It's not gonna turn out bad. Worst case scenario, you guys can keep you know, the stuff that is on it and it'll go with the truck. But I promise, if it doesn't look perfect, it's not gonna go on the truck. But thank you guys so much. Enter to win that truck while you can. Every $15 is another entry to win and you could be taking this truck home. Stay tuned, enter information in the description below. Catch you in the next video, peace.